this video I want to show you how to play a traditional dance tune from Sweden. This is called Åre Polskan and it's actually the first triplet polska I'm included here. I love playing this one and it's a part of, well, basically all fiddle players repertoire here in Sweden I would say. And uh, I'm here playing it with my good friend Lena Jonsson, who is an amazing fiddle player. And it's, this is a three-part arrangement where I'm playing the melody, there's also a harmony and then also a chord. And I play the chords on the octa mandolin, but in this video we're focusing on the melody. Here we go, Åre Polska. My name is Magnus Sedlund and I help mandolin players just like you get to the next level. If you're new here at the channel, make sure you subscribe. We have new videos like this coming out every week. Also hit that bell notification button and you will get notified as soon as we publish a new video. And for an enhanced learning ex experience, check out Mandolin Secrets Academy. You find the sheet music, the tabs for and play long tracks for this tune and all the other tunes here at the YouTube channel. You also have the chance to connect with me personally and all the other Academy members. So check it out. You find it at my website, mandolinsecrets.com forward slash Academy. I put a link in the description below. Okay, first off, the Polska. That's a dance and a tune that is in the 3-4 meter. And the triplet polska means that we're subdividing each beat with triplets. So the beat goes one, two, three, one, two, three. And the subdivision will be da da la 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 da bu bam ba da ba bam bu dam ba do bi da bum like that. So here's how we do it. First, we take a listen to me and Lena playing through the, the complete arrangement. Then I will break it down and play it slow for you. Also have some, um, like, uh, some trade secrets to share. And then also we're finishing off taking up to tempo, playing it twice through again. But first, listen to me and Lena's performance. I think this tune is really really beautiful and I made it more mandolin friendly I keeping the tempo a little bit like 
up. You can also play this slower, but for the mandolin, I think this is a good vibe to it. But learning it, then of course we want to do it slow. So here I'm also going to play it slow for you. And uh, yeah, please also pay attention to the, if you're following along in the, the PDF with the sheet music and the tabs, uh, put attention to the picking direction and all that. I'm also like doing some legato playing that you can see. Um, but yeah, pay attention. Here it comes at a slow tempo. One, two, three, two, two, three. <laughs> I got a few small details that I want to point out, but also first I want to say a little, I'll leave you with some clues about the notation. You can see that I put the notation to 9 16th meter, and that is a modern way of notating the Polska rhythm, especially the triplet Polska. But let me show you a quick graphic so you can see what it's all about. Let us look at the notation for the triplet Polska. And the polska is a dance in the 3-4 meter, meaning there is like three beats to each bar. So one, two, and three. And as the name says, the triplet polska, it's like three notes for each beat. Da la la da la la da la la. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 three. Da ga da da ga da da ga da. Written like this. It's almost like it looks like the 9-8 meter, if we're putting it like this, 9-8 notes right after each other. But as you, if you watched my notation, you can see that I'm using another notation called 9-16 meter. And it's only like giving the notes a little bit less value, making it 16th notes instead. So instead it looks like this with 16th notes. You might wonder why do we do this? Isn't this that a 9-8 meter just as good as the other one? But if we start making rhythms like this, the beats comes one, two, three, and the rhythm written now is Tan ka ta da ta da la tan ka ta da ta da la one two three tan ka ta ka ta da la. It looks like this, but if I'm instead using the nine sixteenth notation, it's it's the same sound tan ka ta ka ta da la. But um, yeah, it's a modern way of notating the, the Polska and we find it's more easy to read like this than with this. Because mainly we can group and add what it, I think is called brackets to the notation. So that is why we use the 9 16th meter. If you start notating some, six, some triplet Polskas, you will also realize that this is the system that is... Uh, better used and however it feels like the three four meter so it's all for the old bars it's 
etc. I will not get stuck in this theory part, but I will be very happy to discuss this further with you at some point. Maybe you also did see when we played the three part arrangement that I was doing some kind of thing in the intro. Let me show how you can do that. Or actually, let me just start by playing the three first bars at a very slow tempo, paying attention to my picking hand. Here's how it looks. Or the four first bar. And you can see, uh, like the basic pattern that I'm doing is down, up, down like this. And whenever there is a complete triplet, I'm doing down, up, down. So the second bar would be... And also in the third bar you can see I'm doing... This is all written in the notation, but I'm just making it extra clear now. Looks like this. So whenever I have a chance, I can also put some legato into the triplets, like I'm doing there. So That is to mimic the fiddle phrasing and the bowing, sort of. And for the intro, what I'm doing there, while the octamandal is playing the chords, E minor, D, C. I'm just playing the note G there. And I'm, I'm kind of following the rhythm of the melody only. So... That is the two first bar, right? Something like that. I'm doing it a little bit improvised, but I think it's the two first measures, basically. It will take a little while to get into the real the Polska groove, but um, I think you will be able to try this idea pretty much straight away. Yeah, and really the best way to get into this groove and this rhythm is to learn to play melodies. So um, now let's put the tempo up again and ha have a real close up at the mandolin and we're doing it twice for you. Here it comes, the melody.
Okay, my friend, there you got it. Hope you like this tune. And yeah, as always, learn the melody because we're going to include the chords and the harmony for this also. But it's uh, the starting point is always the melody. That's the centerpiece of a fiddle tune. So really pay attention to this one. And you might also want to compare it with the other polskas that I included here. And because um, you will find that, that the triplet polska is somehow different that this, than the 16th note polska. Enough of that, but I think you're gonna enjoy uh, playing around with this one. As always, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And we would also be very glad to hear how do you find this, uh, this tune? How do you find this rhythm? Is it hard finding the beats? Or does this come natural for you? I know it can be a bit challenging for people. It actually was for me when I was getting into the triplet polska. It has some... Uh, well, it, it's got a little bit uh, different groove than, than what we're usually used to. So let me know your story. How do you find the rhythm of the triplet polska? Thank you so much for watching. Also, thank you Lena for being part of this video. Uh, yeah, hope to see you in a new video soon.